break even. The aim of this video is to be able to calculate and define the term break even. And also be able to calculate and define the term margin of safety and explain some of the factors that might influence the break even point. So what is break even? Break even is a point where you make no profit or no loss. So you make a big fat zero. So what does break even actually mean? Break even tells us how many items a business has to sell to get to a point where the costs and revenue will be equal, i.e. you make no profit. Every sale that you make past your break even point is going to be profit. Every sale you make under your break even point is going to be loss. To calculate break even, we need to use the following break even formula. Break even is calculated by doing the fixed costs divided by the selling price minus the variable costs. Now notice a bit in brackets has to be done first because it's in brackets. And that's sometimes called the contribution. Because if you look at what's actually happening there, it's working out how much profit per item is going to contribute towards your fixed costs. Another note that you need to remember is that it's the selling price per unit and the variable cost per unit. So if you're given a grand total, you need to obviously divide by how many are sold to find out the selling price per unit or the variable cost per unit. Let's take a look at how this actually works. So a shoe shop has got the following cost. It's got fixed cost of £30,000, variable cost of £12 per pair of shoes, and the selling price of £40 per pair of shoes on average. And I've been asked to calculate the break-even point for my shoe shop. Well, firstly, I'm going to write up my break-even formula, which is fixed cost divided by the selling price minus available cost. Remember the bottom bit in brackets, or the contribution. Let's now substitute some of our numbers into there. So we've got 30,000 as our fixed cost. And then in the lower part, our selling price is £40, and our variable cost is £12. So if we do 40 take away 12, we're left with 28. 30,000 divided by 28 gives us 1,071.4 pairs of shoes. Now you might think I'm going to round that down because that's what you do in maths. But really what we do in business in this situation is we'd round it up because if you sell 1071 then you're going to still be making a loss. So you'd try and go to your nearest whole number. So obviously in that sense there, 1072 would be the correct answer what we're looking for. So that's the number of pairs of shoes that you'd have to sell to break even. The eagle eye to point out that actually you're technically making a profit there because obviously the point four is where you cross that magic line. And that's a fair point. And what you tend to find in exams is they always give you nice numbers and not numbers like that, but just shows you how it works. Another key term you're going to see is the margin of safety. What does that actually mean? Well, it's dead simple. It's the difference between the break even point and the actual level of output. So the actual number of products that are sold. What does it actually mean? Well, the margin of safety is basically a measure of how well a business is performing compared to its break-even point. So to calculate a margin of safety, you need to know the break-even point and have to perform that calculation first. If a business has a large margin of safety, then typically it's going to be performing well because it's selling many more products than its break-even point. And remember, a break-even is making no profit or loss. So if it's way above its margin of safety, it must be making vast amounts of profit. Of course, on the other hand, if it has a small margin of safety or even no margin of safety, then it may have things to worry about because small changes could then find that that organisation has got a problem. To calculate the margin of safety, you need to know the break-even point and the actual level of output for sales for the business. So let's take a look at an example. We know the shoe shop has a break-even point of 1,072 pairs of shoes. If the shoe shop is currently selling 2,000 pairs of shoes, then the margin of safety would be 928 because that's 2000 minus 1072. So that's how far above their break even point they are in pairs of shoes that are sold. But why is that important to know? Well, it gives you an indication of how close the business could be to a potential failure or potential problems in the future. For example, if the break even point was 950 units, but you're currently producing a thousand units, then your margin of safety would only be 50. And it wouldn't take much to change to suddenly cause you a problem and see that you're making a loss. For example, 
Imagine if competition was to open, then you'd probably have to lower your selling price. As a result of that, that's going to increase your break-even point, but by increasing your break-even point and reducing the amount of revenue you make, it's going to see that your margin of safety would fall. Of course, if your margin of safety goes past that 50, you're going to be making a loss. If the cost of raw materials is to increase, so any cost at all to increase your break-even point, is going to then start to become more of a challenge because you're going to have to try and raise more money to try and cover those costs. Your break-even point will start to increase. As a result of that, again, your margin of safety at 50 could be in danger of being challenged. and You could be making a loss. If wages were to increase, again, your margin of safety could be in danger of being challenged because your break-even point is going to increase. They're all issues that possibly could happen and all could cause serious problems for an organization. Okay, what should you know at the end of this video? Well, you should now be able to define the term break-even and margin of safety. You should also be able to calculate break-even and margin of safety. You also should be able to comment on the margin of safety and suggest whether it's good or bad for an organization and suggest factors that could maybe impact on that margin of safety. Thanks for checking out the Bee Business B YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Bee Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like. It's facebook.com forward slash Bee Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online hiver activities found on beebusinessbee.co.uk full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.